everybody, I'm Richard Holder. It's time for another episode of Speed Secrets. Today, we're working with our friends over at Zex, and that can mean only one thing, nitrous. Now, every time we apply a Zex wet EFI kit to any motor, we get a big jump in power. So this test isn't to find out if nitrous works, because it does. This test is to find out the air fuel distribution of a long runner intake on a five liter Ford. If you've taken a look at any of the other videos, you know the 5 liter Ford is one of my favorites. I mean, it's the motor that got me started in this industry, so I have a soft spot for the 5 liter. But it's far from perfect, and one of the areas is the intake design. The intake manifold has to snake past that large cap distributor, and the problem with that is airflow distribution. If the runners have to snake their way past, the airflow to those cylinders is less than it is for the others. In fact, there's a big disparity in airflow for all the cylinders. So if the airflow has a problem getting through that manifold, what chance do nitrous and fuel have? To find out if the nitrous and fuel found their way through that torturous intake path, we set up a test. We installed a modified 302 up on the dyno. Our 302 test motor was equipped with aluminum heads, a high flow intake, and of course, a comp extreme energy cam. We ran the motor up on the dyno with eight individual oxygen sensors, one for each cylinder. Using these sensors, we were able to monitor the air fuel ratio of each cylinder. We were also able to tune each cylinder to equalize the air fuel ratio of each. After that, we could install the Zex wet EFI kit and find out if there was a change in air fuel. To prep for our nitrous distribution test, we installed our naturally aspirated motor up on the dyno. Equipped with that extreme energy cam, our modified 5 liter produced 389 horsepower at 5700 RPM and 376 foot pounds of torque at 5000 RPM. It's important to note these power numbers came after we dialed in the air fuel ratio of each cylinder using our eight oxygen sensors. With everything ready, it's time for some Zex. After installation of that Zex wet EFI kit on our modified 5 liter Ford, we hit that button and were immediately rewarded with a big power gain. The power output of our 5 liter jumped to 518 horsepower and 517 foot pounds of torque. Now those kind of gains we've come to expect, but the big question was how is the air fuel distribution? As it turned out, the air fuel distribution only differed by half an air fuel point, which is not bad. Now we wouldn't recommend jumping up to a big power shot on this wet EFI kit, but at 125 horse, it works great. I'm Richard Holder, that's all the time I have. I wanna thank the guys at Zex. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.